Hi there, long time no see. Uh, some of you may or may not know that many months ago I had quite a serious bike crash on my push bike. I basically went over the bars and ploughed head first into the verge on the side of the road and I knacked my neck, twisted it, popped things out and I was basically in agony for months. You can see that in a few of my older videos. I'm just knackered, all swollen up and red with pain. <laughs> Luckily that has been sorted out so I do hope to get back to making videos very soon. And on the subject of videos, this one is basically just showcasing a filter or a few filters that I've made and I'm going to be selling on the Filter Pro website. Now these are very limited numbers because the thing that they're made of, the main resin ornament, the rock thing, aren't made anymore and I haven't been made for a while so once these are gone they're gone so I'm gonna basically show you what it is how it works give you some sort of tank size recommendations I'll also put a link to the original video that I made on a bigger version of this so you can you know view it being made from beginning to end and see how it works and so on uh, in the video description and also in the pinned comment and if you're interested, just check out the Filter Pro site. By the time this video comes out, they will be on the site. Okay, this is it here. Just for some sort of scale, I'll put my hand next to it. It's basically a resin ornament with a pump in. The pump draws oxygen in, mixes it with the uh, water, and spits it out in an oxygenated stream. So you don't need a separate venturi or anything like that. Of course you can, you can mount this thing anywhere you want in the tank. If you've got a tall tank you can mount it vertically and have the water spitting out that way. I've got it set at a bit of an angle. Oh the lighting's not very good in here. Well you can see the silhouette of it anyway. The exit is here and it draws most of the water in through the back, through foams. The kit also comes with a couple of hooks, actually three hooks, and with a pair of pliers obviously not when it's attached but with a pair of pliers just squash the hoop down to the correct thickness of your glass. Okay so we've got a resin rock ornament which is approximately oh, 47 centimeters or just over 18 inches long. The maximum width of about 20 centimeters or 8 inches and it's roughly Oh, five and a half inches high or 14 centimeters. Now bear in mind, although I said it's a kit, this is basically just ready to plug in because the foams are already fitted, the pumps are already fitted, the cable and the airline are cable tied together. All you need to do is just undo that and go and plug it in. The air intake is adjustable, so you can adjust how many bubbles and what size bubbles are spat out. So let's take a look in here. That's our coarse foam. Followed by a medium foam. Followed by roughly one kilo of bio home gravel, uh, sorry, bio gravel, which is in mesh bags. Obviously, you could put something else in there if you want, and I'll come to that in a minute. And then in here, we've got our little pump. It's not fixed in in any way, it's just kept in place by the bags of gravel. And the forms. Now because the foam bulges out a little bit this will sit slightly off the back of the tank which will allow water around here to circulate and be properly drawn in. You know it doesn't sit flush to the tank. I mean you can get it more or less flush if you want but water will still get around there. Be drawn through 
and spat back out here. Also included in this are optional extras, which you might or may not need to put in. That is one of the firm, thin-ish, fine pads. You can just cut that and pack it into all the little gaps. And you can also do the same with a carbon impregnated pad. If you didn't want to use those for this filter, just use them in one of your other filters. And then we've also got three hooks, which comes with every filter. As I said before, with a pair of pliers, you can just squash that down to the right thickness of your tank. I don't want to do that because some people might have thick tanks and some people might have thin tanks. And also, if you want the filter to sit even closer to the back of the tank, really snug, just squash that down a little bit and it'll sit more snugly to the back of the tank. So there you have it, your own invisible aquarium filter. And I'll just quickly show you a clip from a video I did a while back, which shows you one of these running. The one that's in the video that I'm about to show you is the bigger version, but unfortunately I don't have any of those ones. I've got nine of that size, ready made, ready to go. Yep, there's not much sound there. I'll put a light on the outlet so you can see what's happening there. Now I've got the bubbles set to be very, very small, so you can see that they're absolutely all over the place, but that outlet is turning beautifully. Right, that's looking at it from a little bit further away. You can see just how many bubbles are in that water. You know, it's absolutely tiny. The air's being shredded by the pump and spat out through the rotating outlet. Obviously, you can adjust the bubbles, you can turn them totally off, or you can have them much bigger. So there you have it. A once in a lifetime opportunity to have a custom filter built by myself. There is only a nine, I was going to say a ten, but there is only nine of these available, which isn't many. And if you had to buy all the materials together, it would probably cost you about 20 quid more than I'm selling them for. You can put things in the comments if you want. Unfortunately, YouTube has stopped sending comments and reply notifications out by email. Apparently, you can still get them on an app on your phone. I never use a phone for anything other than phone calls. So unfortunately, I very rarely now see comments. Hopefully that situation will resolve itself. I have been going back and manually looking for comments, but to be honest, that's a nightmare when you've got over a thousand videos. So if you want to get a hold of me, just email me. That's my email address. Or if you're in the UK and it's more convenient, well, certainly more convenient for me, if you phone me. And that is my phone number. I can answer the phone any time of the day and help you much quicker than by email. And certainly much quicker than by YouTube comments, which now basically might as well not exist. I hope you enjoyed this video. My next one will, well, it's got to be a review on that electric bike that I got a while back. Yes, the one I had a bad crash on. It's not because of the bike though, it was because of me going berserk, which I always do and always have done when I've been cycling. That's why I've had so many brakes, dislocations, bits sticking in me, bits sticking out of me, but I wouldn't have it any other way. The video after that will probably be an update on the floating island that I made for my big pond. That's all in flower now. Um, it, the vegetation has just come up absolutely beautifully. It's still tethered in the middle of the pond. We've had ducks nesting on it. In fact, there's some young ducks up there now. I'll try and get those on video for you. And you can just see how mature the pond is. The wildlife there is just incredible as well. See you next time.